Hello folks, this is day 18 and the word for today was dirty. Um, but first of all I'd like to give a shout out to, hi Pauline, my sister-in-law who's been watching this every day, so it's really exciting. And also Stephanie and Muggsy Makes and Blue Raven I think it is, sorry if I got you wrong. <laughs> So thank you for all your support. Anyway, as I say, the word for today was dirty. And so I rattled my brains because I thought, oh, dirty, what could I use? Well, the little jigsaw bird that I'm doing today is a swallow. And they're not actually dirty birds, but what they make their nests with is dirt. They um, build their nests in sometimes old woodpecker holes, but normally on sandy banks. Or I don't know if any of you in other countries, but in England, in barns and houses, we have house martins, which are the same species. And they gather mud and they keep it in their little beaks and make it moist. And then they kind of build like, these little structures from out of the eaves of the houses or under the roofs. And I have a small plot of land with some stables on. And come the summer, they are amazing. They are at aerial feeders so they live on insects and things but they dive and duck they are like in england what i would say was equivalent to the red arrows the way they they they, they just near miss each other as they're flying around i'm showing you with my hands and you can't even see <laughs> i'm so used to talking pe to people and talking to people in groups that i forget I do talk with my hands, but yeah, they, they, they duck and dive and, and then when they come towards you, then suddenly they jerk away really fast and they live as far as the Antarctic. And then these little birds, I mean, it's amazing that they have that summertime over here and there is my favourite song, um, which is Lark Ascending, and that kind of reminds me of the summer days with the swallows. They seem to sort of skim over the corn crops, and you know, they are, they are really amazing. But, so this isn't the best drawing ever, because it has been really difficult using a jigsaw piece, because they are quite, they've got like long pointy tails and long pointy wings and I've only got so much space left now on my paper it's filling up quite rapidly and as I cover it over I don't get to see the unveiling so I'm quite intrigued myself to see what they all look like so that is a little that is a little um, swallow I mean I, I don't know if you have them in other countries you know please please let me know because I, I love to learn too you know I'd love to know what you have the equipment and if any by any fluke anybody in the Antarctic is watching watching I'm assuming people live there I don't know I'm gonna google that later you know, do to tell me they are very colorful and they make really summery noises and lark ascending, I mean, a, a lark isn't the same as a, a swallow. But if, if Vaughan Williams um, composed the music, and it's one of my favourite pieces of music, it, I can't play it on here because of copyright. But if ever you get the chance, you know, do listen to it, because it does actually typify an English countryside mid-afternoon or early evening the dust is dusk is settling and these birds come out and skim over the surface of the crops and they whistle and you just know and it, it, it it's quintessentially english so please listen to vaughan williams lark ascending and think about these little birds and if you do have them in your country do let me know they, I, they do make a lot of mess in my stables i must admit when the babies are born you know they poop everywhere but hey ho, I rather poop everywhere than not see them. And they are the red arrows of the British countryside. The red arrows are an RAF formation team that fly airplanes at the at 
the Fairford tattoo. Do look that up. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. What little bird will it be tomorrow?